So today I wanted to talk with Jamie Mueller just about entertainers and how we see so many entertainers involved with crimes, but we don't know what's going to happen to them. Some people, they end up in jail. Some of them don't. Like some of the cases that's making the headlines now is Salento. He is now indicted on murder charges of murdering his cousin. Wow. YK Osiris. Now on the flip side, he won't be prosecuted for assaulting his girlfriend and supposedly he beat up his girlfriend. I don't know why um, the district attorney's office here in Fulton County decided to not prosecute. But hey, that's what's going on. Yeah, that's right. um, we got YFN Lucci. He's mm. in jail, indicted. We have Rallo. We have Pooh Shiesty, and he's in jail. Now, with him, the word is, of course, like I always say at Simmons Law, don't be prosecuted for what you post online. Word with him is money he posted online was money that was allegedly a part of a robbery. Wow. So now he's in jail. We have Fujiano in jail. And supposedly the backstory with that is there was a racist judge involved. So you you may know, as well as everybody else, I do criminal defense at Simmons Law, 12 years in the game, never lost a trial. Mm. I mean, what's your thoughts on you know that before I speak on it any further? Well, I just think a lot of guys is getting misled. They're not having real homies, real friends. Real friends ain't going to let you go down that road and play stuff off the street. Like, yeah, it's yeah, just, it's just like that's a good point. It be, it's like mental health. Like, I was talking about mental health is serious. A lot of these guys that doing stuff, they not they think out of emotion, mm-hmm. out of emotion instead mm-hmm. of thinking out of, you know what, let me think, let me sit down and think. I don't need to be yeah. doing this. And that's a good point that you bring up. You know, we are going to, you know, be serious, even though you're the comedian. uh, Mental health is important. I advocate a lot for therapy, um, especially with black men. You know, you guys face a lot that I will never understand as a woman. Um, And sometimes y'all don't have a lot of outlets that we do have as women. So I do encourage going to therapy, et cetera. But what I kind of want to touch on is... When you are an entertainer, you have to know the difference between having your entertainment attorney Mm -hmm. and your criminal defense attorney. For instance, if you are a person that's indicted for a crime such as murder, your labels attorney or your your management, Mm -hmm. they only know from the perspective of business. So they're going to do what's best for business. Mm -hmm. But if you're facing a crime, your freedom is at stake. (laughs) So who you going to listen to your criminal defense attorney or you going to listen to your label who mm-hmm. maybe, you know, they've already got paid off of your numbers. If yeah. you, you know, whatever, depending on your contract, I'm definitely going with the criminal. Right, right. So, you know, what do you think of that? I've seen scenarios, it's you like, know, in my uh, real life as an attorney where people, you know, they don't listen to what I say as the attorney, but they'll listen to their management or like I said, their label attorneys that know business and contracts but they may not know criminal defense yeah right i'm going into criminal defense before i listen to the entertainment lawyer like 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 you just said earlier like they just worried about the dollar they're not worried about your freedom because they're gonna make money off you anyway right you locked up or you free so i'm gonna go with the criminal defense team just because they want to win and they and you you give them your case and they feel like in their heart they can beat this case they're gonna take on that case it's gonna cost money though yeah, definitely, you know especially so, if you so come you into Simmons out there, Law. So you rappers and entertainment, entertainment lawyers is different from a criminal defense lawyer. So don't get jammed up with a gun. I'm going to call my entertainment lawyer. Right, He, he right. don't care. <laughs> right. They don't. They don't. And, you know, one of the things that makes Simmons Law different is we do business, criminal defense, entertainment, and personal injury. Mm-hmm. And for me, I can see the perspective of the business side mm-hmm. as well as the criminal defense side. So my clients that are... In entertainment that, you know, sometimes get into situations where they might need me on the criminal defense end, you know, I got them. And then what makes it so much better, you know, I have my show Hood Court. Mm -hmm. Me being talent, I also understand, you know, the business side and them wanting to make their money despite the fact that they may be facing a criminal charge. So, you know, shouts out to those teams that we mentioned. We wish the best to those guys. Yes, free the guys. And, you know, if you've done something, definitely 
you might have to be held accountable for it. But at the end of the day, you know, for me, I want everybody to have fair and reasonable treatment in yeah. jail. Um, reasonable bonds should be given to people. We're fighting for a reasonable bond now for one of my other clients. Yeah. So, you know, free Andre Noble. But again, I free thank Dre. you. I know, yes. he, I know your name, Dre. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for, um, you know, talking with me about that because I definitely want entertainers such as yourself to know mm -hmm. the parallels between entertainment and criminal defense and what you can do to kind of be prepared for that. Yes, definitely. Right. It's a dope show. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yep.